Another thing I like about uh, this uh, profession is that many measures of success. I know, I think one way of uh, measuring success is, uh, you know, your publication in high impact journals and how many citations, etc., etc. But uh, uh, you, can, you can decide your own rules in the lab. For example, somebody may like to have a, uh, a big lab with uh, plenty of students, plenty of postdocs, maybe 15, 20, and so on. <coughs> on the other hand, for example, another colleague of mine from uh, uh, JNU, he's a very successful scientist, but he decided not to have more than three or four students at a time. Uh, my lab will not run unless I have uh, multiple grants because I do immunology as well as uh, molecular biology which requires tons of money. But he decided to work on something which doesn't require much money. So he said even if I have two lakhs of rupees in a year I can do good science. So you know you have a possibility to choose and still you may be successful. Another thing is it's not only the research paper, it's not the multiple grants you get or how much money do you get. There are multiple ways to, uh, to measure your success. Uh, there, there, there are people who, are, who, are, who, can, who can be regarded as excellent teacher and they are famous for their uh, teachings. For example, my, my, uh, my own brother-in-law in my family, my wife's brother taught physics in uh, IIT Kanpur. And any time I meet a uh, IIT graduate and ask him who was the best teacher in IIT, and I always learned that he was the best teacher. He used to teach the uh, physics 101 course, I think anybody who studied in IIT may. Uh, and uh, uh, students enjoy that course and they always remember him. So there are many measures of success. It's not only your research paper or citation index or anything. Uh, you may be regarded as best teacher and uh, your students are going to remember you forever. And that teacher uh, in IIT Kanpur, uh, uh, when he was almost about to retire, Vijayaragavan came to him because Vijayaragavan was also taught by him. So Vijayaragavan came to him and he says, you are the excellent teacher. Why don't you move to uh, Bangalore and teach in uh, NCBS and the mathematics for biologists. You see, his teaching made him famous and Vijayaraghavan came to him to pick up from Kanpur to Bangalore and he taught five years that course and eventually decided to settle in Bangalore. So even you know there are many measures of success, it's not only research, sometimes your teaching is very important, sometimes you are a very good institutional builder. Uh, you can you can build institution. You can you can give directions to your department. You can attract. You are very good at attracting good faculty. Bring them, nurture them, and uh, make them to become successful. So all these things are also measure of success. It's not only your research papers. Another thing I think which uh, particularly uh, uh, the young couples will appreciate that uh, you have a very flexible daily schedule. It's not that if we have flexibility in our schedule, we work less. <laughs> Once, you know, I tried to calculate how many hours on an average we work for our academic uh, input and uh, I calculated it was more than 40, 14 hours per day. See, in all other profession, people look at watch that uh, it's 9 o'clock, I have to start my work. It is 1 o'clock, I have to go for lunch. It is 10.30, I have to go for a coffee break. So our, our flexibility in our schedule is very important. See, sometimes it may happen. I, I can share with you, I always had my lunch time at 2.20, not at 1 o'clock. The reason was my daughter's bus will come at 2.20 and I have to, I have to take them home and offer them lunch because my wife was working in International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology which was a little away from home and I could come and receive them and have lunch with them and then go back to my work. So this flexibility is allowed in this profession that you decide and quite often I was very late in the laboratory, 
I will always call my wife and say that I'll be back in half an hour, and usually that half an hour was never half an hour. It was usually more than an hour. So I, I will, after dinner sometimes, I go to the laboratory, I would like to chat with my students, something interesting can happen today, etc. So this flexibility, and particularly in India, this flex flexibility is even more because usually you live on campus. Uh, I mean, I, I, I wonderfully enjoyed living on JNU campus, and the same is there in uh, BHU campus, is wonderful campus, lot of greens, unlike the city, which is, you know, very crowded, you have better air, better greenery, but more oxygen. So it's wonderful to live on campus and work on campus. Anytime you can go back to your lab, you can go and interact with your students. So this kind of flexible schedule, I don't think any other job can offer you. Doing some good. I think this is very important that we all would like to do something good for, is it? Uh, I thought maybe I am too long, no? How many minutes? 15 minutes more, very good, okay. Uh, uh, doing some good for the society, uh, this also always comes to your mind. I still remember that I was contacted by uh, Dr. Lal Path Laboratories and uh, they, they, they told me that uh, they have got a very new system from abroad uh, which can, which can uh, detect uh, uh, drug resistance in mycobacteria uh, for the TB patients, but you know the machine costs a lot and the cartridge costs a lot and can you do something for the poor people? Uh, so that we can reduce down the cost of diagnosis uh, to a bare minimum. I, I was very happy to do that, that, okay, that was, that test was costing them 2700 and uh, Dr. Lal Path Laboratory, if they want to uh, really uh, take this work, they are going to charge much more than 2700 to make some profits. So I said, okay, I would love to do that project and I did not charge them any money, okay. Of course, the project was funded by DST and Lalpath has put some money and DST put a lot of money and finally we were able to make an Indian version of it and uh, the test could cost us only 206 rupees and it was wonderful feeling that we could do something for the society and poor people can afford and uh, we did for 7000 patients and it was working and now Lalpath Laboratories is using this test routinely. So you feel very good that you are doing something for the society. And another great satisfaction you get, every year you get new students and gradually when your students pass out and they go for a postdoc abroad or uh, if they have done your masters with you, they go to a great place in, uh, in US or in India to do their PhD and gradually they become a very successful scientist, you know, you get uh, a big sense of uh, achievement that your students are doing, doing great. And in that sense, let me tell you, I mean, many of my students are uh, uh, CEOs, presidents, vice presidents, directors of biotech company. Many of them own biotech companies, not only in India, in USA. You know, it, it, it's a great achievement that you have made uh, uh, so much input and uh, uh, motivated them to be uh, doing, you know, this kind of uh, uh, successful career. So I, I, I feel this is a great achievement and we do good for others, for the, for the society also.